and welcome back to the Introvert Circus. I'm Sassafras and today's video is another requested video. This is a training video that was requested in my Facebook group, Tricks in the City, which is the same name as my trick training book. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to teach your dog to orbit. So orbit is a really fun trick, really impressive looking. For orbit, your dog is actually going to be going backwards around you. So orbiting around you, moving backwards and it is a trick that is really useful for if you have any interest in doing canine freestyle dancing with dogs that kind of thing it's also just a really impressive looking trick so Sirius is going to be my demo dog she knows how to orbit really really well from my uh, left side going around me she knows how to orbit going from my right side way less well. I actually didn't teach them at the same time, which is a do as I say, not as I do. I wish in retrospect I had taught them at the same time with the exception of, it actually makes it really convenient for this video because I can show you more easily what that training is like. So let's get orbiting. So to touch, touch, start teaching orbit, I like to work on rear foot awareness, um, exercise it, pivot exercises. So what this does is it really helps dogs to figure out where their rear feet are. Remember, dogs are front wheel drive. For the most part, unless they learn otherwise, the back feet goes where the front feet went. So one of the things I love to do with young dogs or before I start working on any trick like this is to really get them familiar with moving their rear feet independently. It's going to really help you out with orbiting, even though this doesn't actually look like orbiting. It's also a great exercise for working on healing and make sure you're going both directions. Now for orbiting, make sure you have treats in both hands. You're gonna get your dog right next to you and you're gonna lure with the treat right on their nose, them back and around. You can use your pivot yes. cue and that's where that pivot training really, really helps because your dog is already familiar with that cue. Um, yeah. And here's the side she already knows very well. And so you're eventually you can transition out the verbal pivot cue to an orbit cue or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's similar footwork to what the dog is already familiar with. But for starting, you want to have your treat right on your dog's nose um, and have a treat in both hands so you can do that trade out. If you um, do not have a giant breed, this is one of the few tricks that having a giant breed is really helpful with. Uh, you can use a target stick, anything that allows you to get to the right height um, for your dog's nose really helpful you can also i know a lot of people like to teach this trick in a corner or in a baby pool using x pens as a physical um guide behind the dog to help them make that turn i find though that if your dog knows pivot you don't really need that addition so again i have treats in both hands oh, and we sat and that's totally okay that happens a lot that means my hand was too high so they lure behind. If your dog goes into a sit, it probably means your positioning was wrong. And in that case, my hand was too high. And she was like, oh, we're going to sit back here now. Cool. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to rotate so you can see her better as well. So here, again, luring back, trade out that treat. Um, I had treats in both hands. I don't know why I did a trade there. And then lure her back around to the front and treat in the front. Keeping your dog's nose right on that treat um, as they make that turn around you and giving your whatever your verbal pivot cue is can help your dog make that um, flip with their feet. Treats. And then again, Treat on the nose, lure back around. And she's already starting to anticipate this because she knows pivoting really well and she knows more about the other direction. And so she can see the pieces start to go together for her. And I like to rotate because she does know one way already. I will continue to work both directions. And that's what I would do if I were teaching it again to another dog, you know, is really work both directions at the same time. It makes it easier. I don't know why I didn't when I taught her how to orbit yes. and you just keep the lure around. She's still figuring this out. So she went into a sit at the end. That's just fine. Remember, keep your training sessions fun and short. A little practice with this goes a long way. Work it in small increments every day or every couple days, um, but don't do long dr drilling sessions. It is one of those tricks that they need to build up the muscle I for. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already subscribed. I'm super excited to be bringing you all kinds of fun dog training, dog adventure content here on this channel, and we will see you real soon.